Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Rakakodash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of great millstone that rule and teach well. Shalom, Wakasayim, Wabarakim. Peace, mercy, and blessings unto all of Akim throughout the four corners that are teaching this work, to the confusion of faces, to the hopeful elect, to the house of David, to the one third, to the men, women, and children. All right, and through the Spirit, know the Most High got us together, and we just want to do a lesson on them. The second coming of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. All right, who, who, if he walked the streets today, the world would view him as a so called black man. And his mission, you know, he got on that cross for the sins of Israel. Right, and, and the Lord is coming back, man. All right, and the signs uh, that points to, to the second coming, they're very prevalent. Mm -hmm. All right, we see earthquakes, we see um, fires, we see protests, we see uproars of the people. We, we hear about the wars and the rumors of wars. <coughs> we hear about the persecution. So everything is literally, everything that Matthew 24 says is literally happening right before our eyes, man. And that points to the Lord's second coming. All right, so we just want to go through the spirit, bring out some scriptures. Out of our right desire, let's be edifying. This is the book of Acts, chapter 1, and verse, I'll start at verse 6. It says, when they, when they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to, to Israel? Right, and, and if you, um, that's what all the prophets ask, right? The prophets, the men of the Lord, they're like, Lord, when are you going to give us the kingdom? Because when you read the book of Second Address, it tells you that the earth was made for our sakes. But at, at the same time, the world is ours. It was made for our sakes. But we're being oppressed by all the heathen nations, man. We're being in captivity. Excuse me. We're being in captivity under them. We're being oppressed by them. We're being murdered by them, man. You know? And it says, Lord, Lord will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? And he said unto them, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the father have put in his own power. Right. So you got this guy, uh, Vocab Malone, you know, it's pretty much mocking the Israelite community for about the 400 year uh, doctrine, which is great millstone and elders. We never taught that doctrine. You know why? Because no man nor the dead hour. And that's pretty much what that's saying right now. That's pretty much what the Lord is telling his men. It's not, right. for, you, it's not for you to know the day and the hour. All right, only our father knows, so we just have to be patient, and that's that's the, one of the hardest things about this truth, man, is, is patience. All right, because when you read the Corinthians, Paul likens this truth unto a race, mm -hmm. but it, it, it's it's not a test of speed; it's endurance. It's how long you can run. That's right. That's how it says, "Look, only he that endured unto the end shall be saved." That's why we pray for ourselves, we pray for brothers, we pray for their families, we pray for the powers and the elders. That we all endure this thing unto the end, you sure. know, so that we can get delivered. Verse 8, and it says, But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Right, and that the first part of that scripture, unto Jerusalem, unto Samaria, that happened in the ancient world. Right? The disciples, they went not unto the Gentiles, but going to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Now the same thing is happening in our time. The word is reaching brothers through what? The internet. The unicorn. Mm -hmm. Through the unicorn, the word is reaching brothers in Puerto Rico. It's reaching brothers in uh, Mexico. It's reaching brothers in Holland. It's reaching brothers in Germany. It's reaching brothers in Ireland, man. Different parts of Africa. So, the, so, we, so that prophecy is fulfilled with us being scattered here in America. You know, the Lord sent in John the Baptist, who is through, through the spirit, we believe that to be Abba Bivens. Mm -hmm. That's when the spirit got put back on the scene, right? To um, restore the sons back unto the most high, roughly yeah. paraphrasing. And now we're, and we're prophesied unto the uttermost ends of the earth, man. Call all your heart by Shai, man. Shai. We're, we're back. The two kings are coming back together. You got camps, whole camps for the brothers speaking Spanish, man, a whole different language. Mm -hmm. All right? In it, uh, verse 9, it says, And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and the cloud received them out of their, of their sight. So they pretty much saw the same thing Elisha saw when Elijah got taken up out of the sight, right? Because when you go in the book of, uh, I believe it's Second Kings, the sixth chapter, um, it's like if I'm mistaken, it tells you about how Elijah and Elisha, then the prophet Elijah got what? Taken up in the chariot of Israel. That's what they're called. But Esau would call those clouds 
UFOs, unidentified flying objects. But yep. for us, we can identify them as the chairs of Israel. They're here to save us. And you see these things on different movies. You see them on War of the Worlds. You see them on uh, Independence Known. Day. Independence Day is a very good one because you see them destroy the idols of Egypt, the White House. So you see these these chariots, man. Going back to the movie The Knowing, the little boy and the little girl, they got they pretty much got delivered from the destruction of America. Mm -hmm. Right? The dad got left, but the children, they got delivered. They got brought to a, a new world. Yep. So that new world was symbolic of the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. So there will be a remnant that will be delivered on those clouds, and there's going to be a remnant that's going to be left. And if you watch right. that movie Knowing, they had EE, -E, which stands for everyone else. Everyone is not out. Everyone is not part of the elect, the two thirds and the heathens. All right. That's right. So the Lord left on what the world would call a UFO, a spaceship. All right. Uh, verse nine said, Acts one and verse nine. And when he had spoken these things while they beheld, he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight. Right. So then Mr. Talking and then boom, Yahweh Shai just get delivered. Right. Now, mind you, it's like it. You got it, you got it. Mind you, Yahweh Shai got on the cross, laid down his life. He was gone from his disciples for three days. They thought he was, they thought he was gone. Then he came back to life, right? Because Thomas saw him and Thomas touched his scars. Mm -hmm. And, and, that, and you know, that, that boosted Thomas's faith because the other disciples and Mary, they already knew that Yahweh Shai was walking there. They already knew that he fulfilled the prophecy, man. So, and after that, Yahweh Shai was with them 40 days before he got beamed up. Mm. All right, that's the point I wanted to make. And uh, so basically, Yahweh Shai got uh, uh, so-called abducted, as they would say today. Uh, verse 10, and it says, And while and while they step, and while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up. Right, because you got to imagine you seeing something like this. You you ain't going to take your eyes off. Right? Right. Like, that's something that's going to... You know, that's jaw dropping. Mm -hmm. That's the world. You know what I mean? That's like you seeing a, a, a badass woman. You know what I mean? That's just jaw dropping. All right. But imagine you seeing something super, supernatural like this. Your Lord and Savior again taken up in a, in, a, in a UFO. You're like, what the hell? You, <laughs> All right. It's amazing, you know? Right. Your eyes are glued to the the so called, the, uh, the, the, you know, the chariot. You know, you keep, it's a, uh, what's the word? <coughs> It's a surreal experience. Uh, and it says, verse 10, it says, uh, Steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which are angels, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand of gazing in, up into heaven? This same Yahweh Shai, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner. Right, which the world calls him Jesus Christ. All right, which Christ is the Greek word for uh, anointed, and Jesus is the Greek word supposed to be for savior, but really it goes back to uh, Jesus, which means hell Zeus. So when you say the name Jesus, you're actually calling upon him an idol. So you have to be careful of that, man. All right, so it's actually a transliteration of uh, Joshua, all right, which mm -hmm. is Hawashai, which means salvation, but our Lord's name is Yahawashai, which means he says that he delivers. Mm -hmm. All right, so they say this same Yahweh Shai who you seen getting taken up in a chariot, he gonna come the same way. So that means when he come back, it's gonna be people looking like, yo, what the, what the, what, what's going on? Yeah, you know, just like in the um the movie Independence Day was that with Will Smith, right? Yep, Independence Day when everybody was playing basketball, you had motherfuckers just driving in traffic. Then once they seen that father ship Yahweh Shai come back. You had people stop everything what they was doing, and they, and they all looked up. People was crashing into the like other people's cars and stuff. Even the cops got out, you know, their own car and looked up like, oh shit, this is the end of the world right now, man. Right, because that's exactly what's gonna happen when the Lord come back. Every eye shall see him, and people are gonna know something major is about something major is happening. That's right. You know what I mean, people are gonna stop what they're doing. Certain people are gonna have heart attacks. It's gonna be a sight to see. Yeah. All right. The Lord, that's the, when you see those chairs, that's the Lord coming back to take this kingdom. All right. The saints shall take the kingdom and possess it forever and never, even forever and ever. That's right. All right. Uh, back in Acts 1 and verse 11, and it says, This same Yahweh Shai, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. Ooh, so the same way he left. You got it. You got it. This is important. The Lord left. 
on a chariot. Right? When he comes back, he shall what? Not meet thee as, as a man. man. Can That's you right. grab me that before? Quick, yep. Isaiah 47. The water. You got Isaiah 47 first? Okay. Yeah, man. Because when the Lord... Because you watch that show on Netflix, the brother made a good point. He said he came doing what Yahweh Shai did in the ancient world. This time when the Lord comes back, he ain't coming back to do that. Are you talking about the the uh when the brother Gabar mentioned that uh movie? It was called The Messiah. Yep. Yeah, he's a, he's if you break it down, you know, have the spiritual eye, you know, have the scriptures with you, he's a he's a false prophet, basically. He's not uh Yahweh Shai, you know, he's not depicting as Yahweh Shai, he's depicting to be a false prophet, he's, and just like you just said, he's doing what Yahweh Shai did thousands of years ago. You know, so you got it, bro. Oh, you're right, because he had the long hair. He's not even dark skin. Right. He's from right. the Middle East. I mean, you know, that's what Esau. Oh, right. he's, he's Middle East. He right. always throws that out there. He's Middle <laughs> Eastern. Then why? What does that mean? You know, if that's the case, why did you paint him white? See, Esau, exactly. he got a lot of questions to ask. See, you got to question Esau, man. When you question Esau, when I say Esau, I mean these so-called white people. That makes them uncomfortable. You know why? Because they're liars. And right. when you're a liar, you have to keep telling lies to cover up those lies. So they have to keep thinking of shit. Yep. You see? So that's why when people say, it's, oh, it's the white man's book, don't believe them, man. Right. It's not the white man's book, man. The, right. the, the, this Bible is for the children of Israel. It's not about skin color. We are the, we, we are the Israelites. We're the Hebrews. That's mm -hmm. who we are, man. You know? It's St. Isaiah 47. I got to start that one with this. Go ahead. In verse 1, and it says, Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Right, and the virgin daughter of Babylon is talking about America, because you have to remember, America came out of what? Britain. Mm -hmm. 13 colonies, 13 British colonies, right? Then they had the American Revolution, mm -hmm. which, which, was the raw, which was the war between America and who? Britain. Yep, the British-American War. Yep, so America was birthed from Britain. Mm -hmm. So the Lord says, sit your ass in the dust, meaning you're going to be brought very low. Valley, <laughs> right? Yeah. Valley of the shadow of death. That's America, man. America is morally low. Uh, uh, infrastructurally, it's, it's fucking... Economically. Economically. Uh, spiritually. It's, the, it's, it's done, man. Even physically. Physically. You go around America, driving around, like even in the city. Go around, the, you know, the city and shit. Just look at the... Look at it, man. You got Ben and Diddles everywhere, especially in Jake's neighborhood. You go out here and uh, eat in my eat in my ville, like shit. You know, like the, the traffic is fucked up. Like everything here is is gone, man. It's real primitive. The water is primitive, as the brother would say, and and I agree with him. Everything in America is fucking primitive. It's like it's, you're supposed to be this this god, but this is all you can do. All right. <laughs> you had hey, even in the ancient world, people you had society was more was more advanced. Oh, you no, know, you no! Know, imagine, you know, only thing that's so called advanced now today that you know is uh, the the so you know the technology, and that was you know that was before you know before you know not in, in these times, you know. You gotta imagine how the Native Americans were living. I mean, how pure the water was. They actually had gold and silver filtering their water system. So you have to imagine the, the health benefits that came with that. Nowadays, you can't even fucking get in the water if you go to the beach. You just Playing with the sand and shit. <laughs> you scared to get in the water because the water is dirty. You know, it's, it's crazy, man. Yeah. There's plastic in the water. You, you go and catch a fish. You think you're going to eat some fish. You cut the fish open. There's mad plastic in the fish. Uh, back in Isaiah 47 and 1, it says, Sit on the ground. There is no throne or daughter of the Chaldeans. Right, meaning they're going to be taking on the rulership, man. Because right now the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. And pretty much what America is, 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 is an experiment of what would happen if man would live without the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. All right? Because America is a lawless nation. Everybody, every, Everybody's in that do as thou wilt spirit, especially you Christians. Mm -hmm. You Christians are the most deceived people out here, man. All right? Because they just believe, oh, oh, just let, oh, he's, he's homosexual. Just let him do what he wants. Just let him eat what he wants. That's not even in the Bible. That's a satanic teaching. The Bible has structure. It has standards that you have to live by, man. When you read the scriptures and you talk about eating, well, you have to have standards in your diet. Mm -hmm. That's why when we go shopping, you know, we get groceries. We don't buy certain things. We don't buy pork. We don't buy crab. We don't buy shrimp. We don't buy lobster. Because those are outside of our standards. See, these people, they don't have standards. They just, 
I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this tax check. I'm going to go to Red Lobster. And get the King Crab Leg. I'm going to go to King Crab. I'm going to go to Juicy Seafood. Oh, man. <laughs> this fucking place, man. And it says, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Right. At one point, America, it was looked at as a, as a great nation. If you go back to the 50s and the 40s, World War II, uh, when Esau dropped those bombs, the other nations got in check, man. They fell right in line. But, mm-hmm. but but now, hey, let the weak say I am strong. That's right. All right? And it says, uh, verse 2, Take the millstones and grind mill, uncover thy locks, make bare the leg, uncover the thigh, pass over the rivers. Yeah, all, all of you, you being made bare. All of, your, all of your wickedness, all of your lies, they're being... Uh, Exposed. Up. All right. of you, all of your myths are being busted. You got this show called Myth Busters. Oh yeah, yep, yep. Everything he's doing is being proved wrong. Like you, you're doing this the wrong way. You're putting concrete over the earth. That's wrong. Spraying chemtrails in the air. That's wrong. All right. You're not judging people correctly. Everything you're doing is is, is fucking wrong, man. Mm-hmm. All right. And it says, uh, make. Bear the leg, uncover the thighs, pass over the rivers. And that's what's going to happen. The missiles are going to pass over the rivers. And guess what? You're going to have foreign troops invade this place. They're going to come from over the rivers, man. You're going to have Chinese troops invade. You're going to have Russian troops invade. You're going to have different troops invade this place, man. All right? It tells you in Isaiah 16 about Gog and Magog. Or is that 13? I, uh, I think it's 13. Yeah. Uh, and tells you how they shall um they shall their houses shall be ravished. Yeah, thirteen. Yep. And their wives um the houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished, ravished. Man, their children shall be dashed to pieces. Yep. So that's what's going to happen to this place, man. That's what's going to happen to you, Americans, especially you doomsday preppers, man. Because you got to think about it. if you're a troop, who are you going to target first? The people who got the goods. Exactly. You you need the food. You need water. You need this. You need that. You ain't going to just go get it from, you know what I mean, an average busted down house on the block. So you people are going to be the first people to get targeted. All right. Verse 3 says, Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. Right, oh. and, and the nation see your shame. That's why yeah, a few years back you had Russia saying, oh, you ain't about to do us like you did the Native Americans. Oh, yeah, I remember that. So you see, they see how you did the children of Israel over here. And these other nations, they see how the dollar is, is losing value. They see how corrupt you are. You had you had China saying we see your gangster style policies, man. When they when they when they took out Qasim Soleimani just a month ago. <laughs> right. Yeah, it was last month. Yeah, that's how fast stuff is moving, man. All right. And it says here's the point right here. I will take vengeance and I and I would not meet thee as a man. The key words there are vengeance and man. So the Lord when the Lord coming back for his second coming it's not to give our hugs. It's not the fucking high five transsexual children. All right, the Lord is coming to take vengeance. He will not meet thee as a man. That means he's gonna have his what? His perfect angelic body, man. That's right. All right, the Lord ain't coming as a man this time. He ain't gonna be able to grab him up, smack him around, and nail him to a cross. This time he's gonna come and and obliterate shit, man. All right, because the, the the power that these UFOs have, you people can't fathom it, man. All right, that's right. This is Revelation one and verse seven, and it says, "Behold, he cometh with clouds." Right well, now, when it says clouds, it's talking about the UFOs. To prove that, can you give me Psalms? Mm-hmm. What's that? One hundred four and three. But the thousands of angels. Uh, that's sixty eight. Um, he make it. Um, oh, I need to talk about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yep. Both of those are good though. Yep, is let's see. Yep, Psalms one hundred and four, and verse two it says. I start verse two. Who cover is who cover is thyself with lights, uh, with light as with a garment, who stretches out the heavens like a curtain. Who lay of the beings of his chambers in the waters, who make of the clouds his chariot. Right, so it says he make of the clouds his chariot. Now you have to ask yourself, what's a chariot? A chariot is something you ride upon. It's like a vehicle of transportation. Mm-hmm. All right? So you got to think about it. This is the Heavenly Father. We, we're a men on earth. We have cars we can get into. We have chairs to go to work, to go to the grocery store. How do you think the Heavenly Father get around these galaxies and these planets? 
He has heavenly vehicles. He have heaven. He has heavenly chariots, man. That's right. So the Lord's going to enter this realm with heavenly chariots. Talking That's about right. those clouds, UFOs, something imagine something an earthly person can't. Um, Something the natural man, Salakia, can't fathom. That's right. Because the natural man cannot receive the, the spiritual things. All right? Because they're foolish unto him. Roughly paraphrasing. That's right. And it says, who walketh upon the wings of the wind. Ooh. Who? He, he said he walketh <laughs> upon the wings of the wind. You know what that reminds me of? Goku, man. Because mm. when we watched the movie, when we watched that show, uh, he he's flying on a cloud. It was called Nimbus, something like that. Yep. Yeah, he's flying on a cloud, on a cloud. Nimbus. Mm -hmm. But imagine that, yeah, how was shy on, on, on a UFO that you would see up on Independence Day. Yep. Or decked out, man. All right? Got all type of... You imagine it, man. You know what you have in your car. You have your... You smell good. You have this. You have that. How much more the Heavenly Father who gave man these ideas? So you have to imagine how decked out these chariots really are. Right. Because if he... What's the scripture that says... Uh, come into that chamber so a nation be overpassed. Isaiah twenty six, yeah, I believe, yeah. because going to the word chamber, going to the word parlor, yeah. and where parlor means like a private room. Mm -hmm. So, so basically, it's gonna be like a VIP, a room for the elect. And imagine, you know, you know like VIP, like you like you get the best of the best. And what what the VIP stand for? Very important people or person. Yeah. So the elect, they're very people, a very important people. They're right. the first fruits. So so when they come into that chariot, hey, you know, just speaking as a man, you don't know what the hell is gonna be up in there, man. Right. Be some a band playing for you when you get it beamed up. Right. You know, like the best of the best, whatever. Right. Like like a beautiful view. Yeah. Because you know when you get like a nice hotel room mm -hmm. or like a nice, you know, resort, there's always this amazing view. So imagine you getting the imagine what John the Revelator saw, man. <sighs> That's how he, that's how we know America is the lake of fire because he was in a chariot looking down. Mm -hmm. So that was an amazing view he was describing unto us, man. That's right. All right. You want to get that matter of fact? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got to. That's beautiful. Uh, was that was that it in the Psalms? Yeah, that was that's pretty much the point to prove that the clouds are the chariots. Saint Isaiah, now I'll go back to Revelation after this. Isaiah twenty six and verse twenty. Come, my people, enter into thou enter into enter Ooh. like enter thou into thy chambers. It was the people, the Israelites, because only the elect out of the nation of Israel can be redeemed. And it says, come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers, which is the chariots, the heavenly vehicles, the so-called UFOs, and shut thy doors about thee. Right, meaning, you got to imagine. So that, were, that reminds me of Noah, right? Because when mm -hmm. Noah, the eighth person, mm -hmm. and, the, and the other seven people got into the ark, what did he do? Shut the doors. Yep. Nobody else could get in. <laughs> yep, and actually, slack in. Go ahead. So that means what? Only a remnant will be delivered. Only that goes back to the movie The Knowing. His mm -hmm. dad, he got He loved his son, man. He wanted to go. He couldn't go, cause cause why? It was shut. Mm -hmm. You see, so that so it's, it's scary, man. It's only for the elected remnant. That's right. Lord willing, we are. That's right. And, uh, and um, that movie is spiritual because Yahweh Shai looks Yahweh Shai looks at us as his little ones, cause he's big, bro. You know. And in that movie, nobody got delivered but little children. And all the, uh, the uh, adults got left behind, destroyed. You know why? Because you know why? Because most adults, they're stuck in their ways. Mm -hmm. You try to tell them something, they think they know everything. Yeah. That's why people bring up their age. Like, you ever talk to somebody, man, I'm 50 years old, I'm 48. Right. You see? That's pride. Yeah. And when do you hear that mostly from when you go out on the highways and byways and camp and or, you know, preach when church is in session? The old head might see you, you know. He think he, he think that he know more because he's older than you in the flesh. I'm fifty five years old, young youngin. I know more than you, but really you don't, you know, because because why? Because you haven't been reborn again. But it's like you got it. No, that's perfect. That's well said. Uh, back in Isaiah twenty six verse twenty, and it says, "And shut thy doors about thee." It says, "Hide thyself as it were for as <laughs> as it were for a little moment." So that's the hide. So when you hide, you're not just you're not just hiding for no reason. You're hiding for something. Mm -hmm. If you have to hide, you most likely you're hiding from what somebody trying to harm you. Danger. That's right. Why else would you hide? That's right, man. Why else do you need to hide for? So the Lord, hey, the Lord said, "Come up hither and hide from this destruction that I'm about to bring." Mm -hmm. All right, because I'm about to whoop whoop these people's ass, man. Yep. But you, you're good. That's right. 
And that reminds me of the movie, The First Purge. Remember that recent, the, uh, the most recent Purge movie they released was that last year, I believe, like two years ago. Yeah. And um, the the uh, the Jake that was in her, his name was Isaiah. Yep. And remember at, at the end of the movie, I don't want to be spoiled, it, but towards the end of the movie, he was in a closet, you know, looking at his first eye. That's like a chariot. Right. And, you know, and then while, while, he, while he was in the closet, what's that? The bomb went off, which is like the fire for like the nuclear missiles. And who was in it? He had Skeletor. Which is the uh, you know he he symbolizes the two thirds. And you had uh, the uh, Edomite troops, which is the nation of Edom. Yep. Looking at was first eye, the nation of Edom being burned up and shit. You know, being you know their world being destroyed and stuff. Right. So it's all spiritual, man. Right. That movie inspired, man. Yeah. And Jake' name was Isaiah, man. And he got they got delivered. Yeah. They was protected because they was in that that chamber, and everybody else got destroyed by fire. That's right. And it says, "Hide thyself as it were for a little moment." Until the indignation be overpassed. Now, when you look up the word indignation, it means righteous anger. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, when you go into the scripture, you can look at Psalm 7, verse 11. It says, the Lord is angry with the wicked every day. That's right. So when the Lord finds, and you know, when you, when you just, when you just mad, you need an outlet. So the Lord is right now, he says, the day of vengeance is in my heart. That's right. So when he gets to release that anger, you're going to have, people going to have to hide. And even the heathens are going to hide. That's why they're going to say, unto the rocks fall on us. Hide mm. us from the great day of the Lord, mm -hmm. man. All right? So the elect, they're going to be taken away. But even you people on earth that tried to hide, you're going to get destroyed. That's right. Just back uh, back in Revelation chapter 1 and 7. Behold, he come over clouds, and he is, is who? Yahweh Shai. Because it said in the book of Acts, he's going to come back in the same like manner because he got beamed up. But he's going to come back into this... From the fourth dimension back into this third dimension. And it says, and every eye shall see him. And every eye shall see him. Meaning, and that's a good point you just made because going back to that show Messiah, he the Lord came, but not everybody saw him. So that proves he was a false prophet because mm -hmm. they had to go into what? The desert to see him. Remember he brought all those people to the desert? Right, because Yahweh shot himself said, if he says he's in a desert, low here, low there, do not go. But uh, that's not that, that's not how I'm gonna uh, return. I'm I'm gonna get that. Yep. I mean, if you want to speak on it, yeah, come on, man, for real. Because Yahweh Shai said, "Hey, he said a false prophet shall come." You know, you know, speaking his name, roughly paraphrasing. Yep, we got yep. Matthew twenty four and verse um twenty three. Then if any man shall say to you, "Lo, here it is already forbade him Christ," mm -hmm. or there, believe it not. For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets. Right. So if, if you if you see the news or even or we hear like word of mouth saying, "Oh, the Savior has returned. He's in Oklahoma inside a cave somewhere, or Texas," and you know, like, don't believe that shit because right, you a church in Texas, right? Church in Texas because you have this truth. Because that, that that's one thing too. Because if, if you don't have this truth, you don't have no stability. The people that don't have the true names of the Lord and the scriptures to back them up, like you, you not you're gonna be out here. With no uh, foundation, so you're gonna, uh, you know, eat that up and go and, run, and go right with it. Yep, we got it. Uh, Matthew twenty four verse twenty three. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. Right, believe shall, it not. For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets, and shall do great signs and wonders, and so much that yep, just like the the show Netflix Messiah, he was showing wonders. He disappeared from the jail cell, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Yep. And so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Right. If it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. That's how heavy it's going to be. You know, because people are going to be deceived that you're going to think that this is the Messiah. But like I said, you know the scriptures. You, you got to know that the Lord is going to come back, you know, and meet, and meet the not as a man. So that dude in the movie, he was a man. He's going to come back. The Lord, Yahweh is going to come back and return his angelic body through this fourth dimension from the spiritual realm. Right on a, 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 a great chariot. All right. Uh, verse 25. Uh, Behold, I have told you before. Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert. Go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers. Believe it not. <laughs> yep. For as the lightning coming out of the east and shining even unto the west, so also shall the coming of the Son of Man be. And right. that... You oh, got it, you got it. If, I could, if I could add, that means the Lord's you going when, when when lightning flashes, you see it. It scares people. All right, lightning, thunder, 
that's a scary state. Yeah. So I mean, people are going to see the Lord's coming back, and 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 when lightning flashes, is also what very quick. So the Lord's going to come back. He's going to make a quick return. It's going to be right. a quick precision strike. She's going to come like a thief in the night. Right, because the thief, you think about a thief, they ain't going to stick around long because right. they're going to want to get caught and go to prison. Exactly. And also, you don't know when a thief is coming. That's why no man knows the day or the hour. That's right. So you got to watch these guys talking about, oh, it's 400 years of prophecy. Well, what happened then? It's, it's 2020, it's, man. It's 2020. It's about to be March. You see? Um, verse 27, for as lightning coming out of the east and shining even unto the west, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. For wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. That's pretty much the point. Yeah, that's the point. So yeah, man, the Lord's going to come back in this, in this uh, 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 heavenly return through uh, the so-called UFOs, which are the heavenly chariots. You know, it says that, he, say he ride upon, what's that, the clouds? You know, he's not going to meet the ass man because he already came on a donkey, man, 2,000 years ago. Right, and the donkey is, is, a, is a humble. That's right, it's right. It's, it's a, a, a symbolic for humbleness. He could have came upon a, a, a horse, a, a stallion, mm -hmm. you know, but he came on, 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 a, on a donkey to show what? Humility. That's right. Humility before what? Honor. Uh, back in Revelation 1 of verse 7, it says, Behold, he come with clouds, and every and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. Right, and, and you know what that goes into? Reincarnation, because re meaning yep. back incarnate in the flesh. Because mm -hmm. you got to think, when the Lord was here, He got pierced on how, on the cross. So how how are they going to see Him again? They had to be sent back here in the flesh, reincarnation. That's right. So in this in this time, which the Lord said, everything will be fulfilled in our generation. In this time, because you got a lot of uh, um, a holes out there. You know, I'll be politically correct for now. <laughs> got a lot of a-holes they like to say oh they've been saying that for hundreds of years we don't know when the lord is coming man if you look around <laughs> lord when the lord is coming soon <laughs> all right you got mad prophecies popping off you got the uh world war three is in a high rise because right now we you know cold war 2.0 you know every you know then every nation is you know making more weaponry and advancing in their missiles and whatnot you got the chip the mark of the beast in the high rise. You got Sweden, China, like they're damn near cashless. So civil unrest in Chile, France. So only earthquakes and stuff. Uh, Australia's on fire. Right. And let's not forget the coronavirus. Oh, the water. Yeah. Because that's Especially right. That. It's already, it's, it's where we at, man. It's already in New York. Yes. Yeah. Several cases. And guess what? It has an incubation stage of 24 days, <laughs> which means you can have this shit for up to a, almost a month and not even know. But then when you do get it, you think you got a common cold, and you always go get the flu shot, and you mm -hmm. end up in a worse state than you was, man. And that's why uh, right now it's time to repent, because that's why right now it's time to get right with you. How about small shot? Because you being the truth, you know the true names. Like the Lord, you having faith in the name, the Lord can deliver you and protect you. But as for the rest of the people, like they they out here with opening season, man. They don't have the name. They have no no uh or no uh, force foot around them so they can easily get the coronavirus get get judged out here and die man right they don't have a cloak all right so lord willing we put be part of the leg we have you how shy all right. right for our sins what it comes down to you people are gonna get judged for your sins because because the wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth man that's right i hate to bring it up but that's why you got this guy Dwayne wade you know coming coming publicly about his son Who's now a she changed the name from Zion to Zaya. She got magic. What's the guy name? Magic Johnson's Johnson. son. Oh man, that motherfucker, man. You see? So there's a there's a there's a trend that they're setting that it's okay to be a uh, transgender, it's okay to be homosexual. It's yeah. not okay. That's a sin. And the wages of sin is death, and that's why the Lord is angry. That's right. All right. Right and right, exactly. Right. And uh this whole world is full of full, filled with sin. What's that? In the, in the book of Job, it says, I believe it says in uh, the land of darkness. Yeah. It's out of order. You know, so that's why Yahweh you is going to come back to put it back in order. Uh, Revelation 1, verse 7, it says, And they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall woe because of him. Right. And you just said it, brother, because the Lord is coming to put the earth back in order. That's right. And in order for the Lord to do that, what? The slain of the Lord shall be many. Let me get that. 
right? This Let's is, finish it off quick. And it says, uh, even so, amen. I don't know. Which means let it be, which means it's going to happen. Right. All right. Tea. And we see everything that's written is happening. You people can't just disprove this book. Right. You can't discredit this book. The Bible is the most respected book on the planet. That's right. The most printed book. All right. That's why it says in uh, Isaiah, no shall want her mate. Exactly. Meaning that no uh, other book out here can take compared to the wisdom, you know, and the prophecy, you know, and the the words that this Bible, uh, that this book holds, you well, know. Which other book has prophecies? All right. All right, remember the Jake that came to camp like last year? He said he, he said he reads the Quran and shit, and he said that the, the Quran is power season shit, but he couldn't name one of them. And he wanted us to read the Quran. Get the fuck out of here, man. Hey, the, the, we in the last days of the last days, man. The, the, whatever Yahweh Bashman Shai says is, is coming to pass. But through the spirit, I, I, I've been thinking about that. I know why he said that now. Because he knew he couldn't decipher it. But through the spirit, he knew we might be able to decipher it. All right. But we, we don't, we don't deal, deal with that, that, man. It says beware to make it a men in books. All right. So don't be out here trying to read the book of Enoch, trying to read the book of Jasher, trying to read the Quran, right. trying to read this book, trying to read that book. Just stick with the Holy Bible, man. Mm -hmm. And remember, remember that you have to be taught again. So you have to seek out the true teachers. And that's right. why the Lord set up pastors according to his heart. That's right. It's Isaiah 66 and verse uh, 15. For behold, the Lord, all right, his real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh, which means he exists or he is to be. And that's why you have the tetragram, Y-H-W-H. -H. It's, it's shortened for Yahweh, all right? Another name for Yahweh is, is the short form of what? Yah. That's why you have a lot of Israelites that call upon Yah. Mm -hmm. Technically, it is the shortened for the name Yahweh, but just say Yahweh. Right, right. The Lord, he, uh, he has one name, but many titles. <laughs> Like he has titles like the Father of Spirits, the Ancient of Days, the Most High, but his true name is Yahweh. That's right. Uh, Isaiah sixty six and fifteen. For behold, the Lord will come with fire, and with his chariots. And what's that? Those laser beams, man. That's that concentrated fire. What's the movie? What? <laughs> right with Tom Cruise. War of the World. War of the World. That's a fire ass movie, man. That's a very great movie. To and reading it, or not reading it, and watching it with spiritual eye, because uh, you know they they weren't actual chariots, you know, but looking at it with spiritual eye, those were chariots, even though they were like robotic giants and shit, whatever it was called, you know. But mechanisms, the water mechanisms. So they came up from the ground, and man, once those things came up from the ground, they started shooting that those laser beams. Motherfuckers turned to complete powder. Hey, what? Well, that's written in Second Edge. I just spirit. Well, yeah, yeah, <laughs> man. It's, it says beating the powder. And that's yeah, man. And, that, and that's going and not only with the the chariots, also the nukes. Because once that once, once that nuke, the, the, once that nuke destruction comes, people are gonna be uh, their flesh is gonna melt away. You know, and once that flesh melts away, what do you turn into? Powder. Powder ash. You know what that reminds me of? Uh, Marvin the Martian. Mm. And when he got this little gun, he shoots you. Yep. And it, and and he just dust and eyeballs. Yep. But but these people, they're just gonna be dust and smell the smoke. That's right. <laughs> and actually, uh, Baba Gashaw, after you read that, I'm, I got a priest up in Ezra. As a matter of fact, the one you just said. Come. Um, Isaiah sixty six fifteen. For the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. Mm -hmm. All right. Imagine a world. Have you ever seen a tornado? That's that's it is scary. Excuse yep. my French. All right, so that's something that's going to catch people's eye. You know what I mean? And to render his anger, <laughs> you got to imagine you going somewhere in anger. You uh, you see people driving in anger, cutting you off in traffic, beeping a horn at you, flipping you off and shit. <laughs> right. So imagine the Lord coming from another dimension in a chair you never seen before, angry. All right? And his rebuke with flames of fire, and rebuke mm -hmm. means correction. So when the Lord comes to correct, and that's why people, the only God can judge me. Well, the Lord's going to correct you. Actually, they're right, because God <laughs> is going to judge you. He's yeah. going to judge you, like it says, says uh, uh, roughly paraphrasing, according to the good and bad deeds. With that first uh, that Corinthians, it says the Lord is going to judge every man's body according to the work that he's done, good or bad. So, yeah, the Lord is going to judge people. He's going to rebuke uh, the wicked with flames of fire, and that rebuke means to correct. I mean, right. A lot of people are gonna get destroyed, and with a nuclear. A lot of people are gonna take a, a bath in fire. That's right. <laughs> all right. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. 
All right. And the word plead means to, to judge. That's right. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. So a lot of people want to know oh, about the second coming when the Lord come back. When the Lord come back, a lot of people are going to die. All yep. right. And that's, and that's scripture. That's right, man. So, so, uh, and that's what's that going back into the scripture. What's that? Uh, Amos, when it says, Woe unto you who shall desire the day of the Lord. Because the whole world, they're deceived by Esau's philosophy that, the, you know, so called Jesus Christ coming back to give out roses, you know, and, and hugs and kisses and shit. <coughs> nah, man, the Lord's coming back to judge and redeem his elect. That's all, man. You know what's funny about that? Esau can't even explain that. He can't, he can't even explain that. Like, he's, he, he can't explain it. You see what I'm saying? Like, I have never yet to hear anybody explain that. I always heard it, but can you, for our scripture on it, can you right. explain on it? They can never explain it to you, man. All right. Because, hey, you know why? Because this is not their book. Uh, You got a precept. I had a precept in here. Um, Go ahead. I'll grab this, that, Amos. Uh, 2 Ezra 16 and verse uh, uh 11, it says, The Lord shall threaten... And who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence. Right, so the Lord's going to threaten, man. And he's not just going to threaten, he's going to zap shit too. That's right. All right. Yeah, so going back to the book of Isaiah 66, that's what that's talking about, beating to powder. And like I said, you can always go on YouTube and type in, what's that, World of the World, uh, um, Tom Cruise, Tom Cruise, you know, such and such scene. And you can watch the thing come up off the ground and zap motherfuckers in the powder. You can watch that Independence Day scene too, where they destroyed the White House. Oh, wait, right, yep, right, and that's gonna happen soon too, man. Cause all this, all these infrastructures, you know, everything that's in uh, spiritual Egypt, which is America's, you know, gonna be um, brought down low, be melted, like it says that Isaiah. So this world, Esau's world, is gonna uh, uh, be passed away. It's temporal. Right, everything right. you see right now is temporary. All right, my fucking. <laughs> Dwayne Wade's son, all that shit is temporary, man. Lil Ma, temporary. Yeah. All this LGBTQPZ, all this confusion, this shit is temporary, yeah. man. America. America temporary. is temporary. All right, China, people think China's going to be the next superpower. They're, they're going into right. slavery. They're temporary, man. Right, how can China be the, the, the next superpower when they're going through a crisis right now, a pandemic of coronavirus? Which is already spreading. It's spreading to different... And Russia... Putin's smart, man. Putin said, I don't let you niggas in my country. Yeah, he blocked <laughs> off the airports uh, to get into Russia. Yep. See, I like... I like. I ain't gonna front. I like Putin, man. I like him better than Trump. I like Trump, too, but... Right, Trump is only for privacy. That's why I like Trump, because he's, he's actually, you know, uh, you know, fulfilling privacy, you know? Oh, yeah, that was, that was it. Yeah. Okay. This is Amos 5 and verse... Uh, 18. Woe to you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it to what end is it for you? Right, and that word woe means what? Death destruction. So woe unto you who who desire the day of the Lord. Now, of course, us being prophets and you know servants, the Lord wouldn't be the elect. We desire the day of the Lord, but that's going into like the ones who don't know how the, how the Lord is. That's, that's going to the ones like these, these wacky tacky Christians desiring the day of the Lord because they think it's gonna be all sweet shit. But nah, the, the, the day of the Lord is going to be very, very bitter. You know, of course, you know, we, we were awaiting the Lord's return. But, it, but even that's we're going to be scared to a certain degree. But we're going to have bonus in the day of judgment and be excited because, you know, we're going to be redeemed, Lord willing. But for you, hey, the Lord is going to get you, man. And for you desiring the day of the Lord, you desiring a so-called white man to come back, not a so-called black man. You, you, are you desiring Esau to come back and save you? Right, you're not desiring the the the, the, the what the Bible describes. You're not describe. You're not desiring the Lord that's in the scriptures. Right. You're desiring the Lord that's in the world because it tells you another Jesus in the Book of mm -hmm. Corinthians. That's right. Yep. So you desiring Jesus as the world knows him. Mm -hmm. We're desiring Yahweh Shai as the scripture prophesies, man. That's right. All right. Because even though you might find the name Jesus written in the Bible, that's a transliteration. You got to remember this is called the 1611. King James Version. And the scriptures was translated from what? Hebrew, Greek, Latin, to English. Mm -hmm. You see that? So you have to understand the meaning of words. That's why you have to go back to the original language that the prophet spoke, which was Hebrew. When Yahushua was on the scene, he wasn't speaking Latin. He wasn't going to the Romans. 
He went to his people, man, the lost sheep of the house of Israel, and they spoke Hebrew. Uh, Amos 5 and verse um, 18. Warn to you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. All right, it's darkness and not light. You know, and the first thing that comes to my mind is like when you know you watch you watch Dragon Ball Z and uh, when the Saiyan turns Super Saiyan, everything goes to dark, it goes from light to dark, just like that because his you know his power is that you know his his power level is is, is uh, rising. Right, the uh, the the, the uh, it starts thundering. Yeah, you start seeing the clouds, clouds, and stuff. everything. Now imagine our Lord and Savior, our big brother Yahweh Shai returning, man. Like you're gonna man those you're gonna have chariots for uh. You know, um, what's the word? Covering the sky up and stuff. Right, chariots for days. <laughs> man, you're going to have so much chariots in the sky, man. Covering up the, everything, making it dark. There's going to be no day like it, man. There's going to be uh, uh, this, the second exodus, man. That's a good point because the Lord is going to come back with Michael the Archangel. Oof. Right? So he's going to, and it's going to be a war in heaven, man. That's right. That's what's going to happen when the Lord comes back. The Lord's going to come back with thousands of angels. He gave Esau's blessing to what his fighter jets, his airplanes, and you know, yeah. everything. Shit his like space that. force. His space force, NASA, and all that stuff, if you will. Just to just to come back and destroy the ass, man. Right. And why, and why is the reason they build the space force? Because the Lord built the space for us like the Lord put in a spirit, put put in a trump spirit to declare to them to make a space force. Because what we've seen in the book of Proverbs says that the uh the hearts, the, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. So this is all done through Yahweh Shemal Shai. Yahweh Shemal Shai is a very uh, strategic uh, power, man. So he knows what he's doing. Everything is getting put in rightful orders for us to, you know, uh, be delivered, man. Um, What's more? Back in Amos uh, 5 and uh, 19. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him. <laughs> or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. him. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light? Yep. Even very dark and no brightness in it. You said even very dark and no brightness in it. You know, so people, you're not gonna skip the judgment of your of your how shy, man. Of your how of your how Bahashim you have a shy. Alright. Either you two third or the elect. Alright, either you heathen or Israelite, man. And if you a heathen, you damn sure not about to be delivered. But if you're Israelite, and you and, and within the uh, Israelite nation, you of the elect. I mean, you how about Shema Shai? He got your he got your seat reserved for you in the chariot. But if you two third, you are through. You're gonna be good in the kingdom, but on this side, you gotta be destroyed, man. Yeah, you're gonna catch Ut a, a horrible uh, right. end. Right, utterly destroyed. A horrific end. Hey, what Kobe Bryant met, he met a he met a horrific end. Yeah. Can you imagine you in a helicopter and and the shit crashes? That's some <sighs> scary shit. Yeah, man. You know, shit. I mean, he don't have to deal with Jacob's trouble and all of that, but shit, that was his Jacob's trouble at the moment. You know, shit, he, oh, you know, I, I, I don't know how high he was, in, how high <laughs> he was in the air, but it's a helicopter. He's fucking high in the air. He, the Lord took him down. Shit starts malfunctioning. Mayday, mayday! Everybody and, and I, screaming. Right. Shit, it's a little. You know what I mean? It's children screaming. Yep. And not only did he die by himself, he died with him, his daughter. And a few other uh, children that was on the bus. So you gotta imagine. I mean, escaping the helicopter. They were all probably panicking, screaming. <laughs> Man, you know what I mean, some scary shit. Yeah, pretty sure I got one. Um, go ahead. The Saint Jude two, in verse uh, one, be blow ye the trumpet of Zion and sound an alarm on my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. Right, and that's what we do when we hit the highways and byways week in and week out. Because we had the scriptures, and how uh, it tells you in Isaiah fifty-eight, lift up thy voice as the trumpet. So we are, we are the trumpet. We lifting up our voice as trumpets, reading not our words, but the words of the Bible. That's right. And what's the problem with that? You have the Bible in your courtroom, you know. You make people swear in on the Holy Bible, but you don't want to uphold the laws that are written therein. That's right. All right. You be crazy, man. That's because Esau he he cast an instruction behind him. That's mm -hmm. why the Lord said, "What what do you have to do with my with my scriptures, man?" Right, you do nothing with it. You know, I do with it because all Esau does with the scriptures be forward towards it, be opposite towards how about small shyness, his standards, his laws, his statutes. Right, it's, it's like he reads the scriptures and say, "Oh, it says that I'm gonna do the opposite." <laughs> or it says not to eat pork, I'm a, I'm gonna build red lobster. <laughs> I'm gonna put pork everywhere. 
pork and, pork and shellfish. It says, oh, not to let homosexuals be. Oh, I'm going to let them live and I'm going to let them get married. I ain't going to give them children so they can molest them. Yeah. In all 50 states. <laughs> verse uh back in verse one it says for the day of the lord you have about small shot cometh for it is nigh at hand right the day of the lord cometh is nigh when it's something that's nigh it's close and the day of the lord is very close man come on you got the locusts over there in africa oh man the, it's like and that's spreading right it's, it's going to china and, and if that shit gets to china those locusts could get infected with the virus and that could spread the virus even further and also locusts eat crops so that's going to cause mm -hmm. a what famine and China's pretty much shut down right now. That they they make up twenty percent of the world's GDP, so that can cause an economic collapse, man. You see, it, it, it's it's everything. All every all of the dominoes are in perfect place to where the Lord just hit one. It's it's gonna have a yep. domino effect, man. Right. And then it come, and then all the dominoes come right back to America. Yep, it's gonna come right back to America with a big ass nuclear explosion. Boom. Boom. Verse 2, and it says, a day of darkness and, and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness. Right. right. Yeah. It's like that. I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. Right. Well, you ain't thinking, because you got dark and you got dark, dark. And when it's fucking, you got, like, because sometimes we, like, when it's dark, you can see your, your hand moving in front of you, you know, but it's going to be fucking dark, man. Like, it said thick darkness to right. the point you can't even see your hand in front of your face. In slavery, they called it can't see. Like, they would make Jake get up. Before the sunrise and work until after the sun second work. So they would make Jake work from can't see to can't, can't see. see. So it's going to be like, hey, you got to remember the plague of darkness that the Lord put upon ancient Egypt. That was that can't see darkness, man. That's right. That's what the Lord's going to bring America. You keep hearing talks about an EMP attack and this and that. Right. And what you say, Book of Edges, I shall put plagues on Egypt as before. All right. That's not going into the, the ancient Egypt. That's going into the spiritual Egypt, which is America. Right. Because why? Because it's like it. you got it. I was going to say, if that's the case, then why would it have to say before? Exactly. Right. That's, I was going to say that. Yep. I'm going to finish the verse out quick. Uh, verse 2. In Joel 2 and 2. And it says, in, in, in a thick darkness, as the morning, as the, it's like it, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong, there have not, never, there have not been ever the light. And that's going to the nukes. Because... Uh, in these times, you have these nations, you know, at their, uh, the, the tippy top shape of them being advanced to the nuclear missiles. Right, know? because you got to remember, even when the hydrogen bomb and the, uh, you know, the fat man, the little man, there's never been nothing like that. But now time has progressed. So the nuclear capability, the weaponry is far, far more advanced. That's right. So if, 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 if those bombs could take out Hiroshima, uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki back then. Imagine if they dropped some shit like that somewhere right now. Right. All right. And they people still talk about that. Though those people are still affected by the nuclear radiation. A lot of people are still um, disfigured and disformed because of that, man. All right. Yeah. So like, and it says neither shall it be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. Right. So, because when we get in the kingdom, we're gonna destroy all weapons. Mm -hmm. Nation, you, ain't, you ain't gonna have an army. <laughs> they, they they said they shall not learn war anymore, man. Mm -hmm. All right, All right. Got it. Um, this is Revelation six and verse, um, verse fifteen. I start at fourteen, and the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of out of their place, and that's pretty much talking about what the mushroom cloud, because when the nukes hit, it's gonna form. A mushroom, you see it all the time when you watch these movies. You see the big ass cloud that, that that's formed when the nukes hit. That's just talking about. That's how John the Revelator had to describe it as the heavens. Got to remember, there's three heavens. There's you know, there's the dimension where Yahweh is. That's heaven on earth, which is rulership. Then there's the skies where the stars and stuff. Mm -hmm. And fifteen, and the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman. And every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains. All right. So Esau has all these different layers and, 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 and uh, bunkers and doomsday shelters and underground cities where he's going to try to hide from the nuclear destruction. You know, it's a perfect example of that. That show um, horror. What is oh, called? American Horror Story. American Horror uh, uh, Story. What's that? Apocalypse. Yep. 
Yep. The first episode, man, mm-hmm. it shows you that. It shows you the people in America that the, the nukes are coming. <clears throat> people are bugging out, panicking. It shows you the elites leaving, and they going to the underground bug out shelters, man. Mm-hmm. All right? That's- yep. Yep. Stop. I'm sorry. They all got their uh their uh, PJs, the pirate jets and shit that go to the bug out bunkers and shit before the nukes hit. All that, all that good stuff. And that's them hiding. <laughs> that's them hiding from the indignation of the Lord. Yep, that's right. Verse 16, and, the, and said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne mm. and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come, who shall be able to stand? <laughs> so when the Lord come back, he's going to come back in great wrath, man. Who shall be able to, who going to, who going to be able to stand? Only the ones he chose to stand, the elect. Exactly. All right. Yeah, a lot of people don't even know that this is coming. They just right. think, oh, you just live in America. You send your children to college. You get old. You can, you collect your fucking pension. All that's bullshit, right. man. We we want to rule. We want they, my father's house of many mansions. That's fucking right, right? Because we not we not born to to work and die, man. We are Israelites, Yashar Allah, man. We are born to rule, and that's why Hashem is coming back to. Uh, implement his kingdom again, starting with himself, you know, and the elect, man. Because once that happens, once Esau kingdom comes to a fall, you know, uh, Shai, uh excuse me, uh, uh, Jacob is gonna, you know, uh, be risen up by Yahweh Shmuel Shai. The first shall be last, and the last shall be what? Shall be shall be first. Hey, Esau is the end of the world. Jacob, Jacob is the beginning of it. That follow it. So we still think about it this way. We're still in the beginning stages of creation. Yep. We have not even experienced life yet. We have experienced the wickedness that can happen in life without the you know governing law, statute, commandments of a heavenly father. Yep. I gotta preach it real quick. Go. It's Saint Luke 21. And I'll get to the point. And verse 27, it says, And then shall they see the Son of Man, Yahweh Shai. Coming in a cloud, which is the the chariot, coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your addition draw of nigh. So when you see those chariots, all right, doing Jacob's trouble, that means we, we're getting delivered soon. Because we don't know how long Jacob's trouble is going to last. That's right. You know, we don't know when it's going to happen. We just know it's close. But we, right. but we do know when we see those chariots. That's deliverance, Lord willing. All right? And that's even more motivation to call upon Yah by Shem El Shai for him to, to save you, man. All right? Because, hey, it, and it don't matter where you're scattered neither. You know? Cause a lot of people think you got to flee America. Hey, the Lord the Lord said his hand is not short that you can't save. That's right. And also, I have Isaiah 11 and verse 11. It says that you know, uh, the Lord is going to um, recover his people from like the remnant Excuse me. They said the Lord is going to recover the remnant of His people from Assyria, from Cush, Elam, uh, the islands of the sea. Right. So it's not just America. Even though America is the main captivity of the Israelites, but you also have brothers in different cities and countries, different states. You know, continents. You know, brothers out there preaching it. What's that? Tanzania yeah. out there in Africa. Yeah. Yeah. So the Lord is going to deliver His men. You know, it don't matter where you at. The Lord. Can deliver you, man. This is uh Micah Aslaki. What you doing with that? Uh, yeah, I was it? Yep. Okay. This is Micah four and verse ten. Be in pain and labor to bring forth, O daughter mm-hmm. of Zion, like a woman in travail. For now shalt thou go forth out of the city, and thou shalt dwell in the field, and thou shalt even go to Babylon. There shalt thou be delivered. There the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, shall redeem thee from the hand of thine enemies. Right, man. So the Lord, where, it don't matter where you are, Babylon, which is America. You could be from the UK. Anywhere, man. The Lord can can beam you up. Yes, right. angels are on us. Right. Angels, that's right, man. You know, it says, but the King, Bible can you go to that real quick? Like Matthew 24 and 31. Okay. Matthew 24, verse 31. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect. Right, he shall gather together his elect, the first fruits. Yep. From the four winds, from the one end of the heaven, even to the other. That means from the other side of the world unto the other. So it doesn't matter. Like I said, you can be from 
in Africa, you could be in Canada, you could be in Mexico, Suriname, America. All right, if you're part of the elect, if you are amongst those uh, that that uh that great number to be redeemed, you will be delivered. No matter where you are, are living at and pushing the word at, you and your household. Right, we just have that faith in that. That's right, because we because we the signs build our faith. The fact that we see locusts right now, oh, that's the plague that hit ancient Egypt. The fact that we see the wars and rumors, that's mm -hmm. in Matthew 24. Pestilence. The pestilence, the coronavirus. Civil unrest. The civil unrest, the uproars of the people. All right? All of these things should boost your faith and, 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 and should point that the Lord is coming soon. That's right. All right? Do you have something else? Um, yeah, I got, uh, I got a couple more. All right, I got one more, too. This is the book of, uh, I'm going to get my book that little mind. The Wisdom of Solomon, 18 and verse, uh, I'll start at 13. It says, for as they would not believe anything by reason of the enchantments upon the destruction of the firstborn, they, are, they acknowledge this people to be the sons of the Most High. For while all things were in quiet silence, and that night was in the midst of her swift course, thine almighty word leaped down from heaven out of thy royal throne as a fierce man of war into the midst of a land of destruction. And this and right here, King Simon is going in about the account of ancient Egypt. But being that now we're in Egypt all over again, which is America, you know, spiritual Egypt, Yahweh Shai is going to come back again, all right, uh, you know, it's in, to come back into those heavenly chariots. And, and judge because he was he, he was that death angel in Egypt judging the firstborn of Egypt. So Yahusha is going to come back in this time in your lifetime and, and, and meet you not as a man and judge the wicked man. You know coming to from the fourth dimension to the, this third dimension and get busy. Yeah, that's that's beautiful. This is our Psalm sixty eight and verse seventeen. The chairs of the Most High are twenty thousand, mm. even thousands of angels. <sighs> The Lord is among them, Ooh. as in Sinai, in the holy place. Mm. <laughs> That's the spirit. That's you, the... you can speak in the prayer. You got it. Yep. I'll read it again. This is Psalm 68, 17. The chairs of the Most High are 20,000, even thousands of angels. So when the Lord come back, it's going to be so many chairs, they're going to block out the constellations. Your sun, your moon, it's going to be darkness, man. All right? And the Lord's going to come back with his angels, his archangel, Michael, going to be with him, man. And there will be a war in heaven. And mm. the Lord's coming back to judge and make war in righteousness. Right, right man. All right. Um, and it, we could close off that if you want. You got one more, bro? Yeah, just close off whatever you got. Uh, I believe that. What's that? Revelation uh, 19. Oh, 19. Y'all need to talk about. Yep. So I make war in righteousness. Yep. Uh, 19 and verse. Let me see. I think I got it. 11. Uh, yep, that's it. Yep. Revelation 19, verse 11. And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon Bob him. Bob Shaw, can you start at 10? Come. Revelation what? 19 and 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See that thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship Yahweh, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Yep, and what did Elder Prophet Tar Demons year to be? The year, the year of prophecy. prophecy. And what's going on right now? Prophecy. Prophecy, man. Popping like popcorn. That's right. Verse 11. Now I saw heaven open, and to behold a white horse, which means what? A power. Because mm -hmm. the horse represents power, white represents purity. So he's going to come back in pure energy, pure power. <sighs> so that's another scripture that proves he will not meet thee as a man. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. And in righteousness, he doth judge and make war. So the Lord's coming back for war. That's why he said, think not that I'm coming to bring peace, but I'm coming to bring a sword. That's right, man. A, so what do you do with a sword? You, you make war with you a sword. You use that shit. <laughs> you make war with it. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. So that is, again, describing his eyes. When you go to Genesis 49... His eyes were red with wine, mm -hmm. and on his head were many crowns, and he had a ran, and he had a name written, which no that no man knew but himself. And the many crowns doesn't mean he's gonna have multiple crowns on top of his head. It's going in about how he's gonna take, you know, bring down these nations, and he's gonna become king. He's gonna become, you know, the the king of kings, Lord of lords, the Alpha and the Omega. 
excuse me, not become because that's already his titles, but you know, he's going to solidify that shit, man. You know, for lack of better words. Uh, that's right. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name was called the Word of the Most High, <laughs> which goes back to what, John? That's right. In the beginning was the Word, the Almighty Word leaped down from the throne. That's right. The Word was made flesh. That's right. Right? And the armies which were in heaven followed him. <laughs> All right? So he's going to come back with an army, man. You got to remember what the Lord said. If this is my kingdom, my servants will fight. That's right. But this time when the Lord come back, he's going to come back with his servants, and they are going to fight, man. And, and, and the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And out of his mark gourd, out of his mouth, Salakia, gourd a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations. <laughs> there you go. What the hell are these people be talking about, man? The Lord's going to come back and, it I don't know. smite. Smite means to kill. All right? It says, out of his mouth gourd a sharp sword. That with it he shall smite the nations. I mean, he's going to destroy people. All right? And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. Meaning it's going to be a very a very strict rulership. That's you right. ain't going to be able to do what you want to do, man. You're going to follow these laws. Or you're going to get bashed with a scepter. Um, scepter. A scepter, man. That's right. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he treaded the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of the almighty Yahweh. And he had on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Mm -hmm. That's right, man. And hey, the scriptures say it best. Uh, that was it. Yep. So with with that, yep. So. With that, we want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakhabudash, that will honor us unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone that ruled and teach us well. Shalom, my Kasai, you my rocking peace, mercy, and blessings unto all the hopeful elect, unto all y'all can teach this truth. Shalom. Shalom.